Hi everybody, it's Thursday afternoon and a rainy day here in New York. Uh, I just went to CVS to pick up some stuff and I am out. I got a couple other things I gotta do. But uh, this van that I bought that you've seen on here on my channel that had all the code showing, it's still sporadically coming up the check engine light. And then uh, the code is the P420, which has to do with the uh, exhaust or catalytic converter. I don't know. Anyway, I've taken it to the shop two times. They said it was a fuel pump, so they put a new fuel pump. Then it, after I pulled out of the place, the check engine light went back on, so they kept it longer, and they put in new O2 sensors, okay? And that was in February, and it's still doing this with the check engine light. And the thing is, is that I wouldn't care so much, except for this month in April, I have to get this van inspected, and it will not pass inspection if this shit's still showing on here. So when I first got the van, I got this book here. Haynes Guide, all right. Uh, the last time I went, back to where they had done the repair work. They said, well, your cat is probably going. That's why it's going on and off. Okay. And I don't know if you guys know, but a catalytic converter is a lot of money. Um, I'm looking in the book here. You know, you got to dismantle stuff under the car and blah, 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 thousands of dollars. Okay. So then my dad told me about this stuff that I'm going to try. And this isn't the same brand he told me about, but it's similar. And I did a lot of reviews on it. And it's called uh, Cataclean. And it's supposed to clean your catalytic converter to help get those codes cleared, okay? And this is uh, stuff you put in the gas tank. And you got to be at quarter tank of gas, which I'm almost at. And then I guess you pour this in and then drive, there's some elaborate stuff you gotta do. You gotta drive so many miles and then you gotta refuel and blah, blah, blah. So I gotta do that. Um, it's just been a pain in the ass with this van. You know, I bought it off Craigslist. It had 11 codes showing like a week after I bought it from no codes to 11 or it was crazy amount of codes. And you'll see in past videos, I've cleared a lot of them through different things I've done. But this is the last booger, this 420 code. And I'll be damned if I'm getting a new catalytic converter. No way, okay? That's not something I could do myself physically and uh, mentally, yeah. Because I'm still dealing with plumbing issues also. So I'm gonna try this junk. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or not. I'm kind of working on the plumbing at the house. I'm still working on the leaks in the kitchen and then i was thinking about getting a haircut too so i don't know so that's it uh, these books are very helpful if you are like me where you like to learn stuff or you want to try to do stuff yourself i've done you know put in an alternator myself i put in a starter myself you know um these definitely help but these are very rare now a lot of auto places don't have these in stock and it's like, okay, do you not want people to be able to fix their own cars? So I don't get that. Um, this the one thing this van did not come with, which I'm kind of upset about, but I can't really do much about it, is it did not come with an owner's manual. You know, the book that comes in your glove box where it tells you how to change the time on your radio and all that junk. So I went on eBay to look for those, and they're like $100 for somebody's used book. So whatever it's the least of my worries um that's it for now i um got up really late today because i haven't been sleeping and i haven't eaten yet today either um but i'm not really hungry yet so that's what i'm doing today um i gotta go to the plumbing store and then i gotta decide if i'm gonna get my hair cut or not and then there's other shit i gotta do all right Goodbye for now, guys.